Are you a subject matter expert who struggles to speak with confidence? Are you losing career opportunities and feeling stuck because of your stage fear and nervousness during presentations? Isn't that affecting your happiness and your family's future? Welcome to the Confident Man Show with Mr. Bashal Sarkar, India's celebrity expert in practical public speaking, where he shows you how to speak with confidence, deliver rock solid confident presentations in front of decision makers without any stage fear. Would you like to become the confident man, gain more respect, and enjoy a happy life? Then listen carefully because this is showtime. For knowing more about the upcoming practical public speaking courses and opportunities to get mentored by Mr. Bishal himself, go to bishalsarkar.com. Again, you can go to bishalsarkar.com for more information about having a conversation with our team members about your situation. Show starts now. Three, two, one, let's go. The power of your voice tells people about your status. So I got a question for you. What is your voice telling people about your status? Hey, this is Bishal Sarkar, author of the book, I Love Public Speaking and creator of the Confident Speaker Conference, where I take knowledgeable experts just like you and I turn them into confident speakers. And we do that in a very, very practical manner with practical experience so that you become confident, you overcome your stage fear, you know, really become a confident speaker. And as a result, you reach the highest level of your career by becoming the best strong leader that you can be so that you can enjoy more time freedom with your family while having great social respect. And as a result, you can live with happiness for the rest of your life without stress, struggle and sacrifice. And you know what? Today's world that we are living in is the best time. What is the best time for, Bishal? Well, there is no better time in history than right now to completely speak with confidence and share your expressions with the world. See, for the last hundred years in the industrial age, the human spirit, the voice, the passions have been suppressed. That's why when you look at the men and also sometimes women today, you will see that their voice has been suppressed completely. They know how to speak, but they don't speak their mind because they're afraid, they're nervous. So now is your opportunity to play at a higher level, serve the higher purpose, and as a result, you know, have that impact, make that impact, have that influence, and really, really, really make a big change. But the problem that I see right now is that most people, even though they are subject matter experts, they have years of experience, they are masters in their field, however, they are not able to confidently speak. They have this stage fear, their voice is not completely right, they are a little timid. So deep inside, they feel nervous even if they act strong outside, right? So they are the prisoner of the fear and they are chained to their desk and they have their fear attached to them all the time. In fact, recently I was having a, a quick email chat with one of my clients who came to one of my programs, a couple of uh, you know, a while back. And his name is Kaushal Thakkar. He used to stay in Bangalore. Now he has moved to Mumbai for a better position. And in fact, he actually left his job to start his very, very successful business. So Kaushal, if you're listening to the show, I'm so proud of you, man. So proud that you are part of our community and, and you're doing it so well. And in fact, when Kaushal came to me, he was he was a decent speaker. He was a good speaker. But one thing that he was lacking is this mastering his voice. And when I had a conversation with him, he told me, Bishal, I want to master my voice. I want to have this global impact. I want to be an international level speaker, not just, not just a speaker and communicator in my small little department, right? And we worked on that. We worked on his voice. And that man, now he is so, so improved. His, his people love listening to him. He's getting awards after awards after awards. And more than the awards, he's a happier person right now. He's sharing his expression with the people. He's expressing his views with the people. He's confidently putting across his opinion with people in a manner that is absolutely connective. And he is the confident speaker. And in fact, I got a question for you. Do you want similar results for yourself? If yes, definitely come to the Confident Speaker Conference. But right now, you're about to receive five practical tips that you can use to master your voice. Why? Because the power of your voice tells people about your status. You ready? 
Okay, if you're taking notes, take notes. If you're driving in the car right now, I don't recommend you to take notes right now. Pull over, stop somewhere if you want. Take notes and then drive. So make sure that you're not taking notes when actually, you know, uh, driving right now because I want you to feel safe now. I want you to feel confident now. I want you to have great voice right now. So let's go through the five tips. Number one, treat your voice like diamond. What do you mean by that, Vishal? Well, yeah, treat your voice like diamond. Meaning, if you have a piece of diamond, um, you would not just um, have it, but you would actually be using it and you would be keeping it very, very well, correct? Well, the same thing with your voice. You have a voice. So instead of treating it like, oh my God, you know, I got it, you got to take care of it. So a couple of examples. Every morning when I wake wake up, I take care of my voice. So whether it's drinking the right amount of water, hydrating myself, or whether it's uh, me having a little bit of water with honey in it, I do whatever it takes to make sure my voice is at the right place, right? Many people want to have a good voice only during a presentation or only during a party when they go to, or maybe there's an important celebration. No, you want to do that all the time. You want to treat your voice like diamond. You want to polish it. You want your voice to shine bright like a diamond, shine bright like a diamond, right? You want to polish it, you want to work on it, you want to cut it, you want to, you want to have the right shape of it. How do you do that? We talk about it, but right now, <clears throat> start having a little bit of warm water in the morning. You don't have to gargle, no, you don't have to do all that. Just a little water, warm water. If you, have, if you want to have honey, that's good. In fact, it's good for, for fat loss as well. You know, many nutritionists talk about it uh, all the time that you want to have a little bit of ho- warm water, lukewarm water with, with honey. You can do that. In case you don't want to lose weight, in case you have lost a lot of weight, uh, have some warm water anyway, okay? No need to put in lemon and all that. Just a little warm water in the morning. It really sets your voice up um, in, a, in a very, very good manner, okay? That's tip number one. Tip number two, get in the habit of speaking loudly and proudly all the time. What do you mean by that, Bishal? Well, <clears throat> most people don't speak loudly and proudly. So they go to the office and they're like, everybody's like, hey, good morning. And they're like, yeah, yeah, good mo- morning, m- morning, yeah. No, 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 morning, no. <laughs> no, you want to speak loudly and proudly. So the next time you take a phone call, the next time you talk to a stranger, the next time you talk to a team member in your office right now, or the next time you're talking to your child, be a little bit um, you know, enthusiastic. Have that, that loudness, that proudness, pride in your voice. You know, When you have pride in your voice, you, have, you look bright in your voice right now. So I want you to have that loud voice. I'm not talking about shouting. No. You know, it's funny to me. Sometimes I, I meet these people who uh, who are always speaking very loudly, like extra. They go extreme on the phone, like, "Hello, yes." No, don't. You don't want to be do like that. You want to have that pride in a good manner, but it, it, your voice must must show confidence, not arrogance. Okay, so get in the habit of speaking loudly and proudly. That's tip number two. Tip number three is don't be monotonous. <laughs> I mean, I see, I see people all the time when people come to me for coaching, mentoring. You know, I have a, I have a private CEO group that I mentor. I have a one-on-one coaching um, program. It's very high level. I'm not accepting any clients right now in that program. But many times I see many people have this monotonous voice. So they, their presentation goes something like this. Hi, this is, uh, this is Bishal Sarkar, and today I want to talk about exactly how to improve your leadership and how to become a very, very powerful leader. In fact, I have 29 tips today that we'll go through together to make sure that... <laughs> right? That's how they speak. So what happens when you're monotonous? People switch off. Think about it. We live in an MTV generation. Write this down. We, li- we are living in an MTV generation. We want quick hits. So anytime you become boring, people switch off. Think about it. If you're watching a TV show or you're just switching off the channels with the remote control sitting casually on the sofa and you're watching something and it's becoming boring, do you keep watching that? Maybe not. Maybe you watch it for a minute or two and then you're like, eh, let me watch something else. Let me watch the game. Let me see the news. Let me listen to that hot song. Whatever. You change it. You, you, and people have that option. Now, when you, are, when you are speaking in front of senior managers or colleagues or a leader or a boss, um, they, they might not go to some other room. But maybe they start taking their phone. That's a bad thing. If you are speaking and people are checking your, their phone, it's a sign that they are not respecting you and you don't want that. So that's tip number three. Don't be monotonous. Tip number four is create peaks and valleys with proper voice modulation. 
Now, this is something that we talk about a lot in my advanced program. In the Mastermind, we have an advanced uh, speaking workshop, but also at the Confident Speaker Conference, we go over this to make sure that you have the peaks and valleys. So just so you understand what's a peaks and valleys I'm talking about in voice modulation, sometimes you want to speak a little higher, a little faster, and then sometimes you want to just slow it down. Okay, slow it down. Why? Because if you don't have variation, people will not have engagement. If you want people to engage with you, you want to give them reason. So there are three kinds of audiences, just so you know. You know, I talk about it more in the program. Auditory, visual, kinesthetic. So the first one, auditory, meaning these are people that actually your voice matters to them. How you speak. So no matter how much knowledge you have, if you don't have the proper voice modulation, they will switch off and they will not do that. So the third point I was talking about, don't be monotonous. The, sol the solution to that is the fourth point, which is create peaks and values. So sometimes I want to speak you know louder 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 and sometimes i want to slow down and when i just uh, slow down my voice a bit so that people are absolutely their ears are completely with me because i'm creating that variation right make sense think about it if you think about your favorite dish let's say paneer butter masala or or a chicken mm, i'm feeling a little hungry or <laughs> a chicken bhatta, whatever or maybe a chinese food or italian i love korean food by the way but if you take one dish and if you have it every single day morning Afternoon, evening, dinner. Morning, afternoon, evening, and then dinner. If you take the same dish every single day for a month, you're going to feel bored no matter how much you like it. Same thing with your voice. So if, if you're always enthusiastic, it's not going to be good. Sometimes you want to slow down and you want to low down and you want to have a right pitch volume. We talk more about it again at the workshop. And if you have attended the workshop, you already know it. Uh, if not, hey, I look forward to seeing you at the Confidence Speaker Conference. And the fifth tip, okay, is you want to create curiosity with pausing. Pausing. You want to create curiosity with pausing. Did you see what I did right there? I said you want to create curiosity with pause, 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 pausing, right? I gave a little silence for a few seconds. What did that do? It created a little bit of curiosity. So sometimes you'll see that people are not paying attention. You want to say something fast and then you want to pause and people who are checking their phone they're like oh, what is he saying or what she right they're going to look at you you're going to gain their attention back as Gary Vaynerchuk talks about all the time attention is the new currency so if you're not getting attention from the people if you're not getting visibility that's because you're not applying these five tips so i'm going to go over them to you again so let's review number 1 you want to treat your voice like diamond very important number 2 Get in the habit of speaking loudly and proudly. Tip number three, don't be monotonous. Tip number four, create peaks and valleys with proper voice modulation. And tip number five, create curiosity with pausing. So let me ask you a question. Would you like to be a more confident speaker? Would you really not just get information, but would you like to receive transformation in your voice? Would you like to overcome your stage fear and become more connective speaker? Would you like to speak with a natural flow without forgetting any of your points? And would you like to become a powerful presenter, speaker, and communicator so that you can finally live with happiness for the rest of your life? Would you like to make a social impact with your voice? Would you like to reach the highest level in your career by being the best, strongest, most efficient leader? Would you like to bring more income to your family as a result of improving in your career? If you said yes to any of these questions, I got a good news for you. Just in a few weeks, I'm doing the Confidence Speaker Conference right here in Bangalore. It has been attended by people from 17 different countries so far. Uh, we do it only in Bangalore. So we have people from Mumbai, Hyderabad, Pune, Chennai, of course, Bangalore, uh, and many other cities, uh, non-metro cities as well, uh, who come to the Bangalore event just to become a confident speaker because this is the, this is the ultimate confident speaker training. Um, and I invite you to come here. So if you'd like me to personally not just give you information like I've given today, but really walk you through the transformation for yourself, um, I encourage you to come to the Confident Speaker Conference where I practically mentor you. So this is an, my two-day event, but before that, we have some group coaching calls and all that. Um, but this is the event where you practically transform. I got to tell you, many times people ask me this question, hey, can I really improve in two days? I got to tell you, your major problems will be solved within the first 30 minutes of the program. <laughs> And then we spend the rest two days helping you master it. So we do drilling, rehearsing to make sure that you are completely uh, into this and you're not missing any point. So that's 
why you'll be coming to the stage, you'll be speaking, you'll be getting feedback from me. Why? Because I want to make this a practical experience for you, not just some bullshit theoretical seminar that many people complain about today, right? I mean, many of the people that come to my program, they say, hey, I went to this program, that program, that did not work out for me, Bishal. That's why I'm coming to you because I no more want to rely on theory. And that's great. You know what? If you want to improve your swimming, uh, you don't read a book on swimming. <laughs> no, you go to the swimming pool and learn swimming, right? If you want to learn cricket, you don't read a blog on how to be a bigger cricketer. You take the fucking bat and you start practicing with the mentor, with the coach. And that's very important as well to have a right mentor and a coach because if you don't have that, you're going to make a lot more mistakes for a longer period of time. So if you want to um, take a shorter path with less pain so that you can improve faster and gain better relationship, health and wealth and have more peace of mind, come to the Confident Speaker Conference. Bishal, how do I, how do I uh, come, come to the program? Where can I get the information? No problem. Get in touch with Rahul. Uh, the number is going to be somewhere in the video and he's going to tell you all about the program, exactly how it works, exactly uh, who are the people um, that are right fit. And he's going to tell you whether we have any spot left or not because this program is not for everybody. It's for people who are really serious about it, serious about being a confident speaker. So I look forward to seeing you there. Always remember what we spoke about today, the five tips, the treat your voice like a diamond, by the way, you know, I remember I told you the thing, right? The power of your voice tells people about your status. So, so take this voice thing seriously. Treat your voice like a diamond. Get in the habit of speaking loudly and proudly. Don't be monotonous. Create peaks and valleys and create curiosity without pausing. Those are my tips. I just came back from, um, from a walk with my father uh, this morning. I go with go on walks with my father, sometimes my brother, sometimes my mother, sometimes my friends. Um, and in fact, next week I'm scheduled to actually go on cycling after a long time with my with my friends. Uh, it's pretty pretty exciting. I, I really love my life, and I'm grateful. So I came back, I, I took my shower, I had my breakfast, and I thought, you know, let me just record this um, show today for you to make you a confident speaker. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the show today. If you like it. Uh, make sure you come to the Confident Speaker Conference. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Share this video with other people. And come back next week for more and more tips. Um, and when you hit the subscribe button, make sure you also hit the bell icon. So that whenever I'm uplo uploading new videos, you get access to that immediately. I hope you have a great day. This is Bishal Sarkar always reminding you that confidence is not about perfection. It's all about connection. Congratulations for listening to today's show. If you're ready to become the confident man in your own life, go to bishalsarkar.com and apply for a conversation today. For that, go to bishalsarkar.com. All right, time for me to go. Have a confident day. Hey, I'm Raghavindra. I work as a product manager for Consumer Notebooks for India and South Asia uh, in Lenovo. The best improvement is the confidence has actually been multifolded uh, over the last three days so in this boot camp and uh, uh, the great, another great point is uh, the practical tips that we have learned here uh, really going to help both not only in professional career but also in personal career and it's a really amazing experience uh, the last three days we had. But we have uh, a step by step formula to deliver amazing content and uh, great presentations. This is going to help uh, in saving time, particularly when you are into a middle and senior management positions. Uh, you need a lot of time for preparation and uh, definitely this will condense your preparation time. And this is also going to help uh, to focus on most uh, important things during the same time. And uh, importantly, I mean this, of course, once you have career progression and peace set to work, it will help you in overall as a human being as well, both at work and at personal life. So, well, I have attended some three to four other uh, public speaking motivation inspiration classes. This is the most uh, practical speaking uh, session I have ever attended. And uh, I mean, you, you, you feel amazed in case uh, that there is no PPT that we have used in the last three days. And uh, still it's more practical. Uh, you learn something, practice it, correct it, Learn the second point, practice it, correct it, and just improve and create your own benchmark against your past performance. That's how it is.